Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are going to learn chapter 6 Light and Optics 6.3 Image Formations by Lenses. Our lesson today is about image formation by lenses, convex and concave lens. What is convex lens? Convex lens is a converging lens. Convex lenses are thicker in the center than at the edge. Explain the main characteristic of the convex lens. Now, we look at the diagram given. What is concave lens? Concave lens is a diverging lens. Concave lenses are thinner in the center than at the edge. Explain the main characteristic of the concave lens. Now, look at the diagram given. Okay, now we are going to explore the virtual reality topic lenses. Okay, I will click the explore lenses. Explore lenses. We go to the highlight area and click the magnifying glass. Okay, you can see the sunlight will pass through through the magnifying glass and will be converging at one point. Magnifying glass using a convex lens. Okay, what will happen when I put the tray at this point? Okay, I will click the paper tray. Okay, you can see the paper will burn. Okay, the image is formed where all the light rays meet. The concentrated rays contain enough energy to burn the paper, which is the sunlight or the light ray will be converted into heat energy. Uh, there is a transformation of energy occur here. Okay, for the precaution, and not to focus the sunlight with the magnifying glass because it's dangerous to look through a lenses at the sun or bright light. Careful, eh? Okay, the magnifying glass is, is used to produce the magnified image of an object it's also used to read very small print and observe the body part of small creatures. Um, a magnifying glass, actually a type of lens. Yeah? The lenses are widely used in eyeglasses, telescope, microscope. Okay, let's explore more about lenses. Okay, first we go to the highlight area. Okay, here on the table, you will see two types of lenses. Eh, two types of lenses. Okay, I will click here. The, this lens is convex lens. Okay, the convex lens. Okay, a convex lens, thicker in the middle. Eh? A thicker in the middle. Uh, it's called convex lens. Okay, I will click the... Uh, light source and switch on. Okay, you can see the light ray will pass through the convex lens and converging into one point. This point we call focus point. 
Okay. Convex lens bends light ray inward until they converge. So they converge here at the focus point. It's called converging lens. Okay. We try to answer a simple question. Okay. What did you observe when light rays pass through the convex lens? Okay. Because it's converging. So of course the answer is the light ray converge or come together when they pass through the convex lens. Converge. Okay. The answer is C. Okay, now we explore by using a different type of lenses. Okay, I will click here. Okay, this lens is concave lens. Okay, pattern of concave lens. Okay, concave lens thicker at the edges than in the middle. Uh, concave lens. Okay, I will switch on the light source. Okay, you can see... When the light ray pass through the concave lens, all the light ray will be diverging. Eh? Diverging. Okay, so when it's diverging, uh, so concave lens bends light ray outward. Eh? Bends outward. Okay, eh? diverging. So uh, bends outwards mean diverging. So it's called a diverging lens. Okay, we try to answer a simple question here. Okay, after passing through a concave lens. Okay. So the light ray diverge or spread up, spread apart when they pass through the concave lens. Okay, look here. Eh? Okay, the answer is D. Okay. Okay, the key concept for this uh, activity, we know that lenses that thicker in the middle is convex lens, and it's converging lens. Okay, a lens a thicker at the edges than the middle, we call is concave lens. And the concave lens is a diverging lens. Okay, we complete this activity. Okay, we continue another next activity. Okay, next, we are going to investigate the image formation by the lenses. Okay, go to the highlight area. Okay, so we are going to see image form by a convex lens. Okay, image form on the screen is called a real because the light ray converge on a surface to produce an image. Okay, for convex lens, image real will be inverted. Okay, I will drag the screen away or towards the lens to obtain a sharp image. Okay, we move the screen. Okay. Okay. The screen at a distance from the lens that produce sharp image. The sharp image is formed on the screen. Okay, at this focal distance, the image is real. Real because the image is formed on the screen. Inverted, you can see this uh, object and this uh, image. And smaller than the actual flame. I say any uh, this uh, actual flame, any image of the flame. Okay, I try to drag this candle at this point, and I will drag the screen away from the lens. Okay. Okay, at this distance, the image flame is real, inverted, and same size as the actual flame. So, this uh, size, although the object of the flame is equal with the image form on the screen. Okay, so the image is inverted, real, and same size. You must remember, when we use a convex lens, real means uh, form on the screen, image that form on the screen. Okay, I drag the flame at this point and I will try to move the screen. Okay, when screen, when there's no image form on the screen, the image is virtual. Right? You see the screen is blank. No, no image form on it. So the image is virtual. Okay, when we move away, you can see the image form on the screen. So the, Im the image is real but is magnified eh, compared to the uh, object. Okay. 
Okay. The image is real, inverted, but a larger than the actual flame. Okay. Okay. When I move the candle towards the lens, so the object distance will decrease. Okay, I will drag the screen, either the image form or not. Okay. I move towards the lens and I move away the lens. Okay. As you see, the screen is blank. No image form on the screen. Eh? An image of flame is not formed on the screen. Uh, okay, so when the image not form the screen, means the image is a virtual. Okay, let's look direct at the lens. Okay, I will select the lens here to see the image of the flame in the lens. Okay, you can see that light rays are entering the lens. But they are not existing to form an image on the screen. Okay. The angle of convergence is so short that the lights are essentially captured in the lens. Okay. The image cannot be projected on the surface. It's called virtual image. Means image that cannot uh, form on the screen or projected on the surface. Uh, so we call it as a virtual image. Okay. The image flame is virtual, upright, and larger than actual flame. Okay, we try a simple question here. Okay. When the candle is very close to the convex lens, very close to the convex lens means the position is here. Eh? Okay, the image form is uh, virtual and upright. Okay. So when image is virtual, so the position is upright. When image is real, the position is inverted. Okay. When the candle moves towards the convex lens, okay, at this position, the image form will be get larger, magnified. Okay, now we are try to explore by using uh, another type of lenses, which is concave lens. Okay, okay, I will move the screen uh, to produce a Im to sharp image. Okay, the image of flame is not formed on the screen. Eh? I move screen uh, towards and backwards, nothing happen. Eh? No image here. So the image is virtual. Mm -hmm. Okay, we click the lens. Okay, you see the concave lens. The image are in the lenses. And when it is virtual, means they are upright. Okay. Upright and smaller than actual flame. Okay, the image produced is virtual. Yeah, because it's inside the, inside the concave lens. Upright and smaller than actual flame. Diminish. Okay, the image formed by concave lens, concave lens is always virtual and upright. When virtual means it will be upright image. Okay. Okay. Key concept for this activity. Okay, concave lens form a real and virtual image. It depends on the position of object. Eh? Depends on the position of object from the lenses. Okay, when object get close to the convex lens. Okay, like ray are bent so much so they do not pass beyond the lenses. Okay, means when objects are very close to the convex lens, the image is virtual. It cannot be formed on the screen. Okay, a concave, concave lens only form virtual image. Okay, for the concave, always virtual, upright and diminished. Okay, so we have complete this activity. Okay. We will continue for the next activity. Okay, next, we are going to learn how to draw a ray diagram. Ray diagrams can be used to determine the position and characteristic of image formed by convex and concave lens.
Uh huh. The idea to draw a ray diagram for the convex lens are red wrist rim vum vum. Okay, I repeat again red wrist rim vum vum. When the object are more than 2F, the image produced is read. Let's try and check. The image produced is read, rear, inverted, and diminished. When object equal to 2F, the image produced is a wrist. Let's try and check. Yes, the image is wrist, real, inverted, and same size with the object. If the object is between F and 2F, the image produced is a rim, real, inverted, magnified. Let's try and check. Yes, the image is a rib, real, inverted, and magnified. Okay. And how about the image produced when the object is equal to F? Yeah, VOOM stands for Virtual, Upright, and Magnified. The image will produce at infinity. The position of image you will see at the same position with the object. Must remember, when U equal to the F, image is infinity. VOOM!
and another vom when object less than f must remember v is a virtual r is real Look at the position of image. The image produced is VOM, virtual, upright and magnified. So you have to understand the position of image when U equal to F and less than F will produce VOM. Let's try the concave lens. The idea is a wood wood okay when you less than f or more than f the image produced is same wood wood virtual upright and diminish Okay, now we try to access uh, our knowledge about this chapter, about uh, topic Lexus. Okay. Okay, we follow instruction for the assessment and endpoints. Okay, we try. Eh? Okay, question one. Real image can be obtained with convex lines. Uh, no mirror, eh? convex lines. Careful. Okay, next question can be used as a magnifying glass. Okay, for the first activity, we use the magnifying glass or the light ray are converging. So, of course, it's a convex lens. Okay. Okay, the image formed by a is always upright, smaller than the object. Okay, when image is upright, so image is a virtual. So, virtual is a concave lens. Okay, okay, we got 100%. Congratulations. Okay. 